Let's start off today's episode with some pretty ambitious grinding from my other teammates, Mr. Mutz. He is doing something crazy once again with Dranslayer 2. So he can get the assembler for his range setup with the Bow of Ferdinand. And he does need some more herb XP. I've been farming all the time, so I have enough herbs for him, I believe, to make brews. And brews will also be really good for Gowers as well. So he is the main herb guy, so we're going to funnel some herbs to him right now. Oh my! <laughs> Holy shit! Look at that! Now that is what I call a lot of XP. Damn, right? It's got hooking me up. So the reason why I needed this is because I want to make Sarah Bruce for the Galvec fight. Um, I can boost from 77 to 81 with Botanical Pies. And what it does, it basically guarantees the Galvec fight for me. Um, I'm 81 range, which means I should be able to do it just fine, but... If I get a bit unlucky, you know, I could run out of food. But if I have brews, that's pretty much impossible. <clears throat> that was a bit too close. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Good thing I had sound effects on. There we go. Galvac has been slain on the group hardcore Iron Man. First try, I had terrible RNG, but I had brews, so it was all good. That's like hardcore number six or something that I've done Dragon Slayer 2 on. <laughs> Alright, I got a salveless kill. Oh, I got it! Let's go! The kill without the salve, first kill today. Let's go, baby! Let's go! Yeah! Vorkev's hat. Pre level, pre 50kc, let's go. Without this hell. <laughs> let's talk about my own personal progress. As you can see, I am doing a lot of Zora ever since I basically started. And you'll be seeing a lot of that, trying to get more uniques from Zora as they're really important for general PVM, for me and my teammates. And I'll be doing a lot of Slayer just to increase my stats so I can PVM safer and more efficiently. And I will be working towards shaman preparations for the dragon warhammer which involves the zaya diary 3 because by completing that i can use the slayer helm with the shades in armor so that means i can get the slayer helm effect while killing shamans on task all right lads this is number 50 kc and ever since they implemented this new little like wrist thing here where if you go past 50 and you die you have to pay 100k but i don't plan on dying I already have enough clips to start making the video, but I need some motivation to bring this out a bit faster. So if this video can hit 2,000 likes, we can probably bring this out in four days. So get to it. Also, if you don't want to miss the next episode, definitely consider subscribing and ringing the bell. I would highly appreciate that. So this is a good example of how I can use the blowpipe to quickly kill the snakelings in between dives without losing any damage on the boss. So normally these two melee snakelings would damage me while the blue phase aura attacks me because I have to pray mage, right? But if I can kill these two in between dives before the mage shows up, then I'm home clear. No damage taken. Really good supplies from Zora here, of course. So even without extra uniques, I am getting a ton of pure essence for room crafting for the boys. We're going to definitely need that at some point. And yes, lots of papayas, magic trees, so lots of farming XP. It's going to be amazing. So I can share that amongst my teammates too. Damn, that was nice. I managed to not take damage from the snakelings at all. There, that was awesome. Even though they were melees. Yay, 83 magic. In the middle of a kill. Feels cool, man. Ooh, good. Ruby was worth it because I hit like no damage. Sweet. <laughs> Definitely gonna just use rubies for last hits. Yes, three paid off. 50 damage, boys. Let's go. Holy crap, that's a PB, probably. But I missed the hit, though. It would have died. Hmm. That was so fast. Holy shit, 237. What the heck? It could have been like a 230 if I, if I didn't uh, miss the hit. Whoa. Wait, what is that? 100kc. Yeah, that's that's what's up. 
We made it, boys. We've surpassed one man, one life only is KC before it went poo poo. Training Slayer with my Blowpipe has been super fun because normally when I train Slayer on most of my accounts, I usually use like a D skim at this point. But yeah, now that I'm doing Zora this early, it's so weird. I actually have the opportunity to Blowpipe everything. And even with Steel Darts, as you can see, it's freaking great. 80 plus K an hour in range. And we just got another range level. And yeah, there's going to be so many tasks that I'm going to love using the blowpipe. Most tasks should be completely good with the blowpipe. Man, Worms with the blowpipe is so freaking good. Just because you can lazy flick like I am and still get maximum DPS and less clicking than one tick flicking. So freaking nice. It's perfect for tasks like this. Where the worm is actually weak to range and mailing is actually just more annoying overall. So being able to use this blowpipe here is such a privilege. 100 tasks at corner. Oh my god, 450 points. That is so fat. I can I can go shopping with that, guys. Dude, whoa, lucky seven? Holy shit, triple seven. I should probably hit up the casino, guys. Another huge grind coming up, guys. I am trying to finish the Zaya Diaries up to hard. I call it the Shaman Diaries because the main goal is to get the Slayer Helm effect for the Seijian armor so that I can do shamans on task with the Serum effect and not take damage from the poison. And this diary requires quite a few skills. 65 mining, 70 smithing, which I'll boost from 65. And in routes, I will be training my mining through Mother Lowe so that I can get the ore to train my smithing to 65. And with the ore, I can turn them into bars for darts for the blowpipe. So it's perfect to combine them all together. So yeah, let's get cracking. All right, here is the spoils from 65 mining. As you can see, I have quite a bit of ore, a thousand gold, uh, 500 iron ore, which will be steel bars, 800 mithril ore, which I'll turn to bars. And I have a bunch of extra coal left over, probably like 3K. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy like 1.5K to 2K mithril ore from Blast Furnace and just turn those all into mithril bars. And I think that should be enough to get me 65 smithing. All right, after smithing pretty much uh, all day, I am finally done 65 smithing. And that means I can boost all the way to the hardest requirements for the hard diary of the current in Kebos, which is, what is it again? I always forget this one. It is 70 smithing. Yeah, smelt and adamant bar. So that's really easy. Just a plus five boost. Okay, so all the ore that I pretty much got from Motherload to 65, I used them all up pretty much. The gold, iron, myth. And it worked out pretty well. Got just about there. And look at all the darts that I got from it. 10,000 steel darts, 27,000 metro darts. So I need to quickly see if I can actually get myself the uh, fletching level to make the darts. Let's see, Mithril Dart's 52, so... Okay, let's see if I can get 8 levels from Steel. So I'm gonna make them all, and I can use it for Slayer. Uh, I would love to use Mithril Darts for Shamans eventually, because I, I am the guy right now that is maining the Blowpipe for range. At least the first one, so yeah. I'll definitely do Shaman tasks whenever I get the Diary done. We'll unlock the Shaman Slayer task as well. But yeah, let's see what we can do. How many fletching levels we can get, I guess, from fletching all these. Damn, dude. Fletching darts while doing agility is so good. I need to eventually get enough marks for these boots anyway. So this is the perfect combo. And also, yeah, 70 plus agility for some shortcuts in the distant, distant future. The amount of feathers I got from burr houses is basically a very identical amount to the amount of darts I need to add the feathers to. The feathers, man. I love it, man. When kind of like naturally things just align, man. It's something about that is just so, so pleasant. 52 agility done. Wow, that's awesome. Oh, I can make a myth now too. Perfect. And I still have 1k left. Wow, I didn't even plan this, guys. I, sh I swear to you, I didn't plan this at all. Yo, I finished. My fingers are starting to, you know, feel a little, little something. I don't know, man, but... 381k fletching xp bro oh my goodness 
out of four 40k total xp i basically trained all my fletching just today wow dang look at that total level it got beefed up so hard man Oof. god damn son okay well 27k mithro 10k steel darts and i think uh i got like 2k from mutts here Oof. we'll take those we'll take those man damn look at that i can share these with the boys because uh yeah i'll be uh throwing the blowpipe in and here and there because mr fuse starting to do shaman tasks but he's almost to 75 range so yeah if i don't need the blowpipe at the time he can uh he can yoink it from me but i'd, I'd say i'm the primary uh, blowpipe user for now unless i get a second one right so yeah man look at this oh we have enough darts forever man they're like premium oh 77 slayer what is that brutal brutal black dragons yeah i don't i don't think i'm messing with those but we're getting some really good xp with mithor darts 86 k and i right now we're gonna work on shajin favor first which involves killing some lizardmans but they dropped the talisman the xerx talisman so if i get the talisman then i can do the lava kench favor a little bit better because then i can smelt at the specific furnace that you have to smelt that and yeah the teleport with the xerx is really close there so this will be the best way and i have the blowpipe so yeah let's send it man damn these guys are terrible now holy shit they're like just so aggressive man yeah i should be careful here man like ever since they changed the map these guys have been way more aggressive than they've ever been so look at this they just gang up on you now Oh, I got the talisman. Let's go. <laughs> that was so nice. I'm just hoping these guys de aggro at some point. So uh, I think they will. That's my guess. But yeah, it's so good. Now I just got to collect some fangs on the ground if there's any. Uh, yeah, we'll have to just highlight them on the ground or something. Make it a bit easier. Yes, finally. Okay, so they do de aggro though. So that's good. Happy days. Yes. I don't know where it is. Oh man, I just missed on a hundred uh, fangs, man. But damn, this is good. That's plenty of charges. Like, I I'm good. I I could break this one, but I probably want to put this one in the house eventually. All right, guys, we're done with killing these freaking lizardmans for uh, now. I can do tales of wretches for the last ten percent. The sixty-five mining wreck was so I can mine lava kites, which is a part of the Zaya diaries to make armor using these ore let's do some lava kites i mined 200 of these and uh yeah i have enough coal for 200 so let's go with that and see where we can go with the points here for shajian hopefully that's enough if not i'll just buy more i bought the coal bag so i can do like yeah a lot of these at once 17 at once kind of deal Alrighty, i think this should be enough this is um 12 times 3 36%. So that should really, yep, 75%. And uh, we get 25% from unlocking the network, the minecart network or whatever. I accidentally made 12 of these. Making these Shajian armor sets always gets me so nervous because I might accidentally make the wrong one and then end up starting the process over again with mining the ore and stuff. So annoying. Yay, okay, Lava Kench done. On to Shazian. Luckily, this is the easy. There we go. Sweet. Okay. Now, we put this 10% here. Bam. Now we can do the organized crime for the rest of the way. So for the Zaya Diaries, I have to do Dream Enter, which means Lunar Diplomacy, which means unlocking the Lunar Spellbook, because I have to use Monster Exam for one of the tasks in this diary. So it's finally time to unlock Lunars on this account. Alright, so I checked all the monsters for Dream Enter, and their mage level and mage defense is 1. So that means I can just bring tank gear, and uh, I should be able to fight them like Barrels Brothers with the Ivans. I don't want to use Mystics, man. I saw that Slayer music got shredded, so this is probably way safer, and Ring of Life just in case. There we go. It's working. <laughs> Holy shit, DDS worked him before I even had to do this. We're, we're working him, boys. Oh, but he hits hard. But it, wow, wow, that was easy. Yay, Dream Mentor is done. Now I have access to... Ooh, 85 HP. 
I can use the uh, spell for the Zaya Diaries and also Nightmare Zone points are going to be fat now that I have the bosses unlocked. Ah, uh, there we go. Luna Isle. Yay. That's going to be a really useful teleport for sure. Sweet. All right, we got all the favors now. Now we can finish Architectural Alliance. Hell yeah. Sweet. Okay, Architectural Alliance done. Hell yeah. Do -do. Another herb level, and now we can uh, use this talisman. This talisman's really handy because I can get to the farming spot in Hill City super fast, and also I can teleport to the center of Karen for some Slayer tasks, like burst tasks, especially if I'm on Ancients. Very convenient. The 65 smithing wreck is so I can boost to smelt an adamant bar in the furnace of the Forsaken Tower for the diary. Oh, we got it, we got it. Let's go. Let's go, boys. We did it. All right, here we go. Let's get ourselves the diary reward. Some of the other really good rewards for the Seiya Diaries 3 is the ability to fish double fish, 6% chance anywhere. It could be anglerfish, carambons, you name it. So super good for what I need to do. And also, of course, you got the Ash Sanctifier that lets you bury ashes for you in combat. There we go. Got the Sanctifier. Charging the Ash Sanctifier requires one death rune. Each death rune is 10 berries of ashes. Ah, there we go. Reptile got reps. There we go. Now we can get Lizardman Task. Let's hopefully get a lot. Because I'm so ready for it, man. This is going to be a very unique experience for me. Oh, I got it. Lizardmans. Let's go. <laughs> I actually got it. I skipped a few. I skipped a few tasks. I'm not skipping again, but I just wanted one. Yeah, I just wanted one. Oh, finally. We can check out the Slayer Helm perk. Okay, sweet. Okay, secret technique has been uh, unlocked, apparently. Okay, now we're good. All right. Okay, so here's our setup for shamans. Really cool to be able to just keep the Slayer Helm on the whole time. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, Blowpipe accuracy got nerfed, but Shajian armor got accuracy now for range. 87 HP. Hell yeah. Every HP level I get right now matters so much because it just makes my Zoras astronomically safer with every level. Alright, perfect. It took about uh, an hour and 30 minutes to finish this task. All right, we did our first shaman task, and uh, of course, we did not get anything. But made a lot of money, though. Yeah, probably like 600k GP from like 200 kills, so. Lots of money, although we probably don't need that much. Because Mutz has like freaking 20 mil, 30 mil or something. But yeah, definitely gonna try to do this on tasks. The blowpipe's kind of weak, I feel like, without it. Oh my goodness, dude. Yo, they added a chat for group members in the group iron team. Group loot value. Oh, there we go. I found it. Okay, we're just gonna put like 100k on the value. Uh, yeah, 100k value. That way we don't get these weird messages. Woohoo! My man, Mutt's come in with that skills necklace. We have so many crystal keys now and dragonstones stones that we can definitely make a bunch of skill necklaces. They're really useful just to get to farming guild really fast or like mining guild and stuff like that. Time to put 2k carambons in the shirt. The boys need some food, so. Oh yeah, look at what Fuse got for us, man. He's got himself another Dust Battle Staff, not even from a superior, but from freaking Dust Devil, which is a 1 in 4k drop, so. Very strange, but this is such a good staff, though. Really convenient for house tellies, if you guys didn't know. Yeah, screw that. We just want this now, baby. All I need is a Law Rune, and that's Home Telly right there. 